What's hood, everybody? Welcome to OmniPro Audio. My name is Jace Ace and I am your mentor. Today, we're going over how to make the Digi002 or Digi003 work on Windows. What's hood, everybody? For premium top tier tech support, coaching, or to become my student, follow me on Patreon or email me at omnistudios at gmail.com. For the Mac OS version of this video, the link is in the top right hand corner. This video is for anyone trying to get their Digi002, 003 rack or control surface working on Windows. So, what is a Digi002 or 003 rack or control surface? For those of you who don't know, these four units are audio interfaces created by DigiDesign in the early 2000s for use with Pro Tools. They also work with other digital audio workstations. However, using these units as a control surface is limited to Pro Tools only. The rack and control surface of each unit sound and behave the same, except the control surface version of the 002 and 003 are bigger with motorized faders, extra knobs, and buttons to allow physical control over perimeters and Pro Tools that the rack does not such as faders, sends, muting tracks, soloing, panning, plug-in control, transport control, arming tracks for recording, zooming in and out, and so much more. So if you have a Digi002 or 003 control surface, you can control your session from the unit and spend less time using your mouse and keyboard. Turning knobs, pressing buttons, and touching faders is a lot more enjoyable than scrolling and clicking with a mouse. Now that we got that out the way, let's move on to the hardware. Make sure we got everything we need and that we're connecting everything properly. I'm assuming you already have a Windows laptop. If it's old enough, it might have a Firewire port on it. If you're on a desktop, most Windows desktops allow you to install a PCI Express Firewire card. If your computer doesn't have a Firewire 400 port, it would need to have a Thunderbolt 3 Type-C port. These ports look just like USB-C charging ports but have a Thunderbolt icon on the side. If there's no Thunderbolt icon next to the port, you're probably looking at a basic USB-C port. The Digi002 and 003 have Firewire 400 ports on them. In this first example, this computer has a Firewire 400 4 pin port. So we'll only need one cable, a Firewire 400 4 pin to Firewire 400 6 pin. Let's connect the Firewire 400 4 pin to your computer and then the other end of that cable will be Firewire 400 6 pin, and we'll plug that directly into the Digi002 or Digi003. Let's move on to example number two. Let's say that your computer has a Firewire 400 6 pin port on it. One cable gets the job done. That's gonna be a Firewire 400 6 pin cable. You'll connect one end of the cable to your computer, and the other end will plug directly into your Digi002 or 003. Now we're off to our final example. The newest computers don't have Firewire ports. They have Thunderbolt 3 Type-C ports. This allows us to still connect the Digi002 or 003, but we have to use special adapters. You will need an Apple Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 adapter, an Apple Thunderbolt 2 to Firewire 800 adapter, and a Firewire 800 9 pin to Firewire 400 6 pin cable. Keep in mind that there are some Windows computers that don't have a Thunderbolt 3 Type-C port or Firewire port, and that leaves the computer in the middle. Not old enough to work, and not new enough to work. To avoid data loss, your Firewire hard drive should never come after one of these units. Make sure to connect it to a separate Firewire port on your computer if possible. If your computer only has one Firewire port, Connect your hard drive to the computer first, and then connect the Digi002 or 003 to the additional Firewire port on your external hard drive. Avoid getting knockoff Thunderbolt adapters. Every adapter and cable needed to connect these units will be in the description. Now I'm going to show you my setup. I got the Apple Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 adapter plugged directly into my Windows laptop. 
Then we got the Thunderbolt 2, the Firewire 800 adapter plugged directly into the Thunderbolt 3, the Thunderbolt 2 adapter. And then we got the Firewire 809 pin plugged into the Thunderbolt 2, the Firewire 800 adapter. Now we follow the Firewire 800 cable all the way to my Digi003 console. The other side is Firewire 800 and it plugs into a Firewire 800 to Firewire 400 six pin adapter. And that allows us to connect to the Digi003 Firewire 400 female port. Now that we got the hardware and cables out the way, it's time to address the elephant in the room. What versions of Windows and Pro Tools will these interfaces work on? The great news is that these units work with just about every version of Pro Tools from version 7 on up. This even includes the newest versions of Pro Tools like Pro Tools 2018 through 2023.9. I've come to find out that the version of Pro Tools does not determine if the unit works or not. The operating system in the computer hardware does. Lucky for you, I've done a lot of testing for us already with different computers running different versions of Windows. It's possible that your results could be different depending on your computer hardware or version of the operating system. All computers involved in my testing have an Intel processor and Thunderbolt 3 port or Firewire port. We'll start with the 002 and 003 rack. I was able to get these units working on all the operating systems listed, but ran out of time and couldn't test on Windows 11. Somebody let me know if they got one of these working on Windows 11. The 002 console. I was able to get the 002 console working on Windows XP, Vista, and Windows 7. As far as Windows 8 through Windows 11, the audio part of the unit worked, but the control feature did not. I kept getting the following error. Error occurred while trying to load the controller personality, Digi002. If you have a Digi002 console, for the best performance, I recommend using Windows XP. However, this might be an issue because you'll be forced to use older plugins and an older version of Pro Tools. Microsoft no longer supports Windows XP, so you might not want to connect that computer to the internet. If you want to use the Digi002 control features and faders with the newest versions of Pro Tools, such as 2023, it's not happening on Windows. You're going to need an Intel Mac running at least Mac OS Mojave, Catalina, Big Sur, or Monterey. Be careful not to get an M1 or M2 Apple Silicon Mac as they are not compatible with any of these units. For anyone considering making the switch to Mac OS, I'll leave links in the description for the Mac computers that I recommend. Last but not least, the Digi003 console. The Digi003 console worked on all Windows operating systems listed except Windows 11. I was still able to use the audio side on Windows 11, ins and outs, but I was unable to use the control feature. If you're planning on buying one of these units, I recommend buying the 003 console because it allows you the most control and it works on Windows 10. Windows 10 is still supported by Microsoft, Avid, and other software developers. This means that you can use the Digi003 console with Pro Tools 2023.9. If you're looking to get another computer solely for the purpose of using one of these units, I'll leave some links in the description for the Windows computers that I recommend. Now I'm going to show you how to download and install the driver for your 00 rack or control surface. Do a Google search for Digi002 003 drivers. We're going to choose the link here at the top, Digi002 and 003 drivers-avid.force.com. This knowledge base article was last updated a couple months ago, but the drivers haven't been updated for years. We're going to scroll down to the Windows section to see which driver we need to download. So there's a few things you have to take into consideration before you download and install one of these drivers. Which version of Windows do you have? Do you have a Digi002 or 003? And is the unit a rack or a console? Okay, so let's take a look. According to this KB article, the Digi002 unit is not supported or tested for any of the newer versions of Windows. So down here at the bottom, we have version 9.0 and version 9.0.2.65. I only recommend using one of these older drivers if you have a Digi002 and or running Windows XP. If you're running a newer version of Windows, anything between Windows 7 and Windows 11, download either 9.0.6 for your 003 console or 9.0.8 for your Digi003 rack. 
For this video, we're gonna download version 9.0.6 to get our DG003 console working on Windows 10. That download is likely to go to your downloads folder, so we're gonna open File Explorer, and we're gonna go ahead and run the installer. Follow the prompts to complete the driver installation. Now that we got the driver installed, we're gonna connect the computer to the 003 and power it on. This next part is for anyone connecting with the Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 adapter. Make sure that you have the Thunderbolt software for your computer already installed. You can find instructions on thunderbolttechnology.net. I just wanna show you that when I right click on the Thunderbolt software icon in the notifications area and select approve attached devices, you can see here that it opens a new window and says, the following Thunderbolt device chain has been plugged in and one or more devices require your permission to connect to this system. And then it says, select the devices you wish to connect. And this is where the Apple Inc. Thunderbolt to Firewire adapter should appear. As you can see, I have Always Connect selected from the dropdown. And there's another note at the bottom that says, selecting Do Not Connect will prevent that device and all of the devices further down the chain from being used on this system. Install the driver included with the device before approving the device which we just did a moment ago, so we're good. So now we're gonna go back to the Thunderbolt software icon and right click again. This time we're gonna select the view attached devices option. So we see the same Thunderbolt to Firewire adapter connected to port one. And down here at the bottom, we see connected next to connection status. So we're gonna go back here and we're gonna check one more setting. We're gonna check manage approved devices. Now on this page, it shows you every Thunderbolt device that is ever connected to your computer. And as you can see at the moment, the Apple Inc. Thunderbolt to Firewire adapter has a green check mark next to it because it's currently connected. Now we're gonna check to see if we see the Digi003 in the sound settings. Let's right click on the sound icon in the notifications area and select open sound settings. All right, so taking a look here, Windows automatically changed my sound output to the Digi003 Analog 1 and 2 Avid 003 and the input to Digi003 ADAT. And of course you can click these drop down boxes and change them if you like. This allows you to play your computer audio through your Digi003 even when you're not using Pro Tools. All right, so now we're gonna launch Pro Tools. All right, here we go, Pro Tools Studio 2023.9. All right, gonna let this load up. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just name this Test 003 now. All right, so we got Pro Tools open. Let me go ahead and create eight new audio tracks. All right, let's go ahead and get our camera on the 003. All right, let's go ahead and move a few faders here. Okay, the faders are responding. We're looking good there. All right, move these down. All right, let's turn these pan knobs. Okay. Pan all these to the right. Okay, the pan knob, pan these to the left. Okay, we're gonna try solo on some tracks. Okay, let me go ahead and hit the record. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the arm button. Go ahead and arm a few of these tracks for recording. Okay, all right, that all looks good. Let's bring these faders up and down. Okay, so far so good, so far so good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and unarm these tracks. Let's go ahead and mute a few tracks. Let's unsolo these tracks. Let's unmute these tracks. Okay, let's go ahead and hit the edit window button. Okay, we can see the edit window. We're gonna go ahead and arm track one, hit the record button and hit play. Okay, all right, yeah, it's working. Move this fader down. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and stop. All right, yeah, we're looking good. We're looking good, everything working. The next thing I wanna do is show you what I should have showed you when I first opened Pro Tools, and that's the 003 being selected as the playback engine. We're gonna to head to the top here in the menu bar and click Setup, and then choose Playback Engine. As you can see, 
Digi Design, Firewire, 003 is selected. 